So people are still losing their mind over the mask situation. Uh, and it goes both ways. So a uh, gentleman walks into a coffee shop without a mask in Michigan. Apparently there's a statewide mandate for masks. And a 77-year-old looks at him and says, Hey, where's your mask? There's a mask mandate. Why aren't you wearing your mask? The guy not wearing a mask stabs the 77-year-old man. Then the stabber flees, gets pulled over by police, tries to stab the police. Police shoot him dead. People need to chill out. Number one, if an old person says something to you that makes you upset or seems offensive, you got to just let that stuff slide. Old people have been around for a long time. My experience shows me that they don't care too much about hurting feelings. They're going to say whatever's on their mind. You have to take a certain expectation that an old person is going to say offensive things to you. I have an aunt nearly 100 years old. Every time she looks at me, she says, You look so... Why are you gaining so much weight? You look a lot better if you lost that weight. I look her in the eye and I say, Thank you. I love you too. And I let it slide because old people are going to make you mad sometimes. And if you're not wearing a mask and your state says to wear a mask, well, I'm not telling you what to do, but you need to be able to take a little criticism or at least be able to articulate why you are defying the order. And you can't just go immediately into stab mode. That just seems like a quite the jump there. And for people listening to this thinking, well, People that don't wear masks are crazy. Well, people that are wearing masks are crazy too. In California, a gentleman is waiting for his car to get towed. And after a few hours, he decides to walk into a store. He's not wearing a mask. Maybe he had to use the restroom. Maybe he had to get a cup of water. We're never going to know because a security guard, after fighting with him, shot this dude in the back. A security guard is arrested for murder. And I feel terrible for the security guard. I feel everyone involved is just truly tragic. Security guard is bruised up. It looks like he got beat up and whooped up on. But it does not matter how bad you get whooped up on. If someone is walking away and you shoot them in the back, that's not self-defense. That is called murder. Everyone needs to chill out with this mask stuff. Just take a deep breath. Be prepared for some criticism if you're not wearing a mask. If you are wearing a mask and someone is not wearing a mask, you know, be careful confronting people. There are crazy people out there. And uh, I would have to say not wearing a mask is not a reason to attack somebody. And it most certainly is not a reason to shoot somebody. So closing thought, take care of each other. Always plead the fifth. Wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, chill out about things.